Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Score Football. Four box, pick your team, number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, remember, all base rookie cards will be randomized to one person at the end of the break. Those are all the non-insert, non-numbered rookie cards will go to one person as one lot at the end of the break, except for Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Tua. Those three will go to their respective teams. So that randomizer will be at the end of the break. Now this, oh, and big thanks to all of these folks right here getting into the action on Thursday the 25th. There you go, Daniel with uh, grabbing a handful of the last teams there, so thanks to him. And remember I marked these with green X's right here so we all know that's from the same case. Uh, and these are the, fi the final four boxes of this particular case. Should be four autographs per box on this too. We'll be looking for that. And you know, I'll drop a checklist for everybody too. I think they'll still be in their their college gear. All right, and there is the score checklist right there. We'll keep that open. All right. So these are the vet commons pile right there. These cards will be numbered. Uh, and they'll be sleeved and sorted out. These are inserts. These are the base rookies, except for Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Tua. So that would be the base rookies pile. This Joe Burrow will go to the Bengals, Matthew Shira, and the Bengals. Parallel. Inserts. It's a numbered card right there for the Rams. And there's Tua. All right, so Tua will go to the Dolphins. That'll be for Brian Zeller. You can see Nick on the Nick cam right there helping us out. This will be a randomizer, left, center, right randomizer at the very end of the break. Let's just slide that right back there. We got Charlie Warner to 35. So Joe Burrow, as you can see, two different uniforms. There's his Ohio State gear, and we saw his LSU gear previously.
Jacob Hollister to 100. Rookie cards. Gardner Minshew. And DeAndre Swift. Is our first autograph. I'm pretty sure he is a lion. Yeah, I think so, right? I just had him in the last break. That's why I remember. Yep, Detroit. Detroit will be for RJ Nye. With the Lions. And our first autograph of the box. And Gardner Minshew autograph. Nice. Jacksonville Jaguars, Colton Carver with the Jags. All right, so these are all, there's a bit of a pattern here, folks, you can see, which I'm glad. Glad about the pattern. Thanks to Panini for that. We got Kelly Bryant. He's a randomizer. I think he's a randomizer, right? We had him last in the mixer. <clears throat> in the mixer, excuse me. So that will go to one person in the break. So I guess here's what we'll do. There'll be the lot of rookie cards that were given away to one person. The second name down will get any of the non. Uh, any of the unsigned people, according to groupbreakchecklist.com. There's only two, Cheyenne O'Grady and Kelly Bryant. So we'll put those in as a lot if we happen to find multiple. It'll just be easier that way. John Hightower. Green autograph. Nice, those are the other three boxes. Thanks, Nick, for that. John High Tower is going to be a Philadelphia Eagle. He went from a horse to a bird. That'll be for Daniel. Picked up the Eagles. cards here and back to the vet pattern right here coming up after this will be the hanger box and then we just got to fill up that one autograph ladies and gentlemen that one autograph uh, box and then we'll be in Mixersville there's our first Justin Herbert that's a rookie card these are all so Justin Herbert of course will go to the Chargers And that will be for Rhonda with the bolts. And we've got a gold zone to 50. It's Gabriel Davis. And that's that. That was box number one. move those over there. Rookie cards on this far side here. Inserts. Put right there. Alright, here's the next score box. And Bree 
breezing through the vets right there. Here's the numbered card, 20 out of 20, Grant Del Pitt. Inserts. And the base rookie cards that are being grouped together, except for the, the three quarterbacks, the three first round quarterbacks. And eight spots in that autograph baseball, nice. Justin, uh, what happened to 10 buck breaks that we used to do? We just didn't have anybody to really run that channel. Someday though, I'm gonna try to get someone back on there. And we got Tyler Johnson. Buccaneers. Tyler Johnson. Michael Blunt with that. Oh yeah? Jose, you'll you'll come in and do ten buck breaks for us? Buccaneers once again, Michael Blunt. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll have to have to give you an audition. See how you look in front of the camera. All right, nice Tua for Brian Zeller and the Dolphins. Inserts, rookie cards, vet commons. All right, all right. Callie wants to run that channel too. Well, maybe it's going to come back sooner rather than later. Here's Terrell Lewis. Terrell Lewis is going to the Los Angeles Rams. That's going to be uh, for Scott. Scott V with the Rams. There you go, Scott. We got Lynn Bowden Jr. is going to go to my Raiders. Nice dynamic playmaker. <clears throat> A different parallel. That's the silver or gray border. Going to the Dolphins. That'll be for Brian Zeller. And we've got Gus Edwards. <clears throat> Is your gold zone? Gold zone, not gold zone. Gold zone autograph. 30 out of 50. Gold zone is a NBCSN feature featuring all Premier League goals scored. But gold zone is what you'll find in score football, which we're doing right now, folks. 
So let's pick your team six. Once again, all those will go to the Bengals. Matthew Shira has the Cats. That was Tigers. Bengal Tigers. We got Grady Jarrett. Some more inserts right there. Some more rookies here. There's another Justin Herbert. Is that Oliver? Another Justin Herbert for the Bolts. That's going to go to uh, Rhonda once again with the Chargers. I feel like we haven't seen in this case any autographs of these guys. Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Tua. I'm not sure. I'm sure they're not too common, but I was hoping. Maybe we got one box to go. Here's Eno Benjamin. Who is a Cardinal, an Arizona Cardinal, Mike Ludwig. And some group of rookies to end this box. It's AZ, Arizona Cardinals. A couple more boxes to go. Put this group away. Halfway through this break. Ngakwe to 50. Inserts. Rookies. Tua. Another one from Miami, Brian Zeller. There's uh, Riley Ridley to 100. What happened to boxing, folks? I feel like boxing used to be... Maybe this is just... Me just romanticizing it, but I feel like boxing was so... So popular. Where are the... Or were we just, was there an era where we were just spoiled in that sort of Tyson, Holyfield, Foreman-ish? I guess Foreman, George Foreman was kind of old then, but were we just kind of spoiled? Steelers for Chase Claypool. That'll be for Shani. Was it, oh, I was going to say, it's probably MMA, right? UFC kind of took over. There's Tyron Matthew for 20. Joe Burrow. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there's Joe Burrow, another one for the Bengals, Matthew Shearer. Tyler Huntley and Grant Del Pitt. There you go, Mac. Congrats. Cleveland Browns. That'll be for Mallory. There you go, Mallory. No, we did not see any Tatums in that second half. That was wild, Danny. We were just like, we, we were like, there has to be. There has to be one in there. Not, not, not even a base. Not a single. I don't think we saw a single Donovan Mitchell either, to be honest with you. Maybe in the, they're in the next case that we get. Rhonda with the Chargers. Yeah, McCarthy, you should be able to combine both gift card codes in one single order. I don't think I've ever, I've personally never tried it, but I think, I think you should be able to. I don't get a lot of gift cards from jazbeescasebreaks.com. But you should be able to. And we've got, for the Broncos, Chris Harris Jr. That'll be for Joel and the Broncos. We've got some boxing on ESPN Rebel. That's what boxing sounds like when there's no fans. Or I guess if you were a boxer, you would know what a what a training area would sound like, but it kind of sound like that. You got Anthony McFarland Jr. Steelers. I haven't memorized any of these guys yet. That'll be for Shani, who has Pittsburgh. And a Joe Burrow right here at the very end. Nice LSU edition. All right. You can see in the top camera right there, one more box to go. And then we'll rip open some, uh, a hanger box. And then an autographed baseball. And then we'll be in that baseball mixer. Nice. And that baseball mixer will be our last break of the night, folks. That should take us a little over anyway. Not by that much. Since we've got Nick's help in these past few breaks. So we're a little ahead of schedule, which is good. Be right on time. All right, Alan Hearns to 100. All right, 
Daniel will trade for a Joe Burrow. Matthew Shearer, if you're listening, he wants a Joe Burrow. You know, I had heard. I don't know if that happened today. The, the L.A. Times come today? No. They they pushed it back. So no, Matt, not today. Those jerks, yeah. No, I'm sure they had read. I have a journalism background. I know how that goes. There's Joe Burrow, Bengals. Apparently, Nick was saying, I don't know if you guys heard him in the background, he was saying that a videographer was stuck in Colorado. Yeah, there's all sorts of production things that happen. It's Cole Beasley to 20. Jay, I, uh, I was in print and in radio for a little bit. Not, not on air for radio, but... It was Cole Beasley, Bills, autograph going to Jeffrey. The print was uh, was Arts and Entertainment, and the radio production work that did produced segments for a morning drive time radio talk show, local radio talk show for uh, a NPR affiliate in San Diego. Out of 50, Justin Reed, gold. And Tua. All right, so there's Tua, Dolphins, Brian Zeller. Why did I get out of it? Uh... <laughs> NPR doesn't pay the bills. I wish they did. Patrick Taylor Jr. But they don't. A lot of those people are like freelancers. Like all the segments you hear on like, you know, producing show. I mean, you have to either like get lucky enough to have a hit show like Radio Lab or This American Life or something like that. But if you're just doing news stories, you're basically freelancing your way around it and did not have the desire to freelance and get in that freelance game. It's a rough it's a rough racket. Green Bay Packers, that goes to Matthew Shira. But yeah, thanks Mac. Yeah, we we have an an understanding of of the broadcasting world and understanding that definitely helps. It's not essential for what I do, but definitely helps. No, I I don't think I would like sports talk radio. Just think about it. It's just ratings. So you got to be you got to have hot takes. Get get the people fired up. Not really a hot hot take guy. My takes are too middle of the road. No one likes middle of the road. That doesn't sell papers. That doesn't get ratings. You know, you think Fox News and NBC, <laughs> MSNBC, you think those networks get ratings by being middle of the road and and not being controversial? There's Corey, uh, Colby Parkinson. No, they're intentionally being divisive. 
Colby with the Seahawks. And that will be for Eddie and the Seahawks. So that journalism has changed a lot. I, 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 was, I was taught a very traditional style of journalism. Uh, but the media landscape has changed. A lot of people are just all about first, first to uh, first to break news, rather than first to break facts. That has changed. A lot, lot of, lot of clicks now. I mean, the the internet has changed a lot of things too, and I think media hasn't really adjusted to that yet. You need a lot of clicks to to make money, to pay writers, to pay photographers, to pay for editors. So that money-making landscape has changed. Their media still adjusting to that, and people are both smarter and stupider these days. <laughs> so add all that together. There's Tua scorecard and Jordan Love. Matthew Shearer with Green Bay. Yeah, that's a heart. I like that. And looks like that's our last autograph of this box, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. And the Michael P. Ryan is our last rookie card. And there's the Tua Silver, or the Tua Scorecard hit going to Brian Zeller and the Dolphins. So oh, I feel like I've not seen any Tua, Herbert, or Burrow autographs, but but if we have some more score, we'll keep searching. There you go. All right, now let's randomize these base rookies. That'll be the name on top. Second name will get the unsigned uh, Kelly Bryant. So let's go back to this list right here. And let's grab everybody's names. Let's actually put this all on one page. From Mike down to Josie. It's a little small. It's a little bit better. All right, and let's roll the dice. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. After they do a browser check. There we go. Two and a one three times. One, two, and three. After three times, thanks everyone for getting in. I appreciate it. Second name, we'll get that autograph, Shani. You'll get the Kelly Bryant. Who knows where he, where he ends up. Might end up on a big team. And congrats to Mallory. Mallory Demers. You, you get that stack of base rookies, the non-numbered base rookies that are not those three quarterbacks we talked about at the very beginning of the break. And Shani, you'll get that autograph right there. Here is a quick little recap. ladies. Oh, i got to do this too. Let me do this first. almost forgot about that. We'll use the same dice roll. Left, center, right. Three times. One, two, and three. There we go. Right side, we'll get those. So all the right side cards, we'll, we'll get the Fantasy Stars cards. Quick little recap. We have the Jordan Love, but have not seen a Tua autograph. Have not seen that guy's autograph. Have not seen that guy's autograph. So, in score football anyway. We've seen him in other breaks, but not in our score breaks. At least not, not, not that I remember. So, the hunt continues. Minshew autograph was cool. We've got a handful of Burrows, handful of Tuas, and some Justin Herberts in there. And there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.